Um, and this is a poem I wrote recently called uh, To Find His Neruda. <clears throat> Sorry, give me one second. Okay, I'm actually gonna do another one. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> this is a poem I wrote also recently um, called, it's untitled actually. <clears throat> Sylvia said she's exploring her subconscious self-repression. My repression involves a suppression of smoke, simple squanderings around embers, emitted, dismembered duchess disheveled and pebbled with memories of September's come past. I allow my inhaled escape to emulate exposed egos, attempt to cover and cower behind clouds of calling vapors. You, my neighbors, will you escape beside me? Will you ignore the ignorance even after it pierces your privacy? Even after it pierces your private party and the pieces of you you place precariously in your pockets? Will you addict yourself, as I have, in hopes that you can hover above the men who hate you, who threaten to hallucinate you with their hands ready to snatch you and taste you? It's an irrational fear, but the statistics say otherwise. But Mary? Mary unifies, and as the sun rises and I raise myself off comfortable covers, my very first thought is always, how soon can I ignite? How soon can I insert my fake sense of security into my service fee taking mouth? How many mammoth moving minutes until my green piece can move my mental capacity into other dimensions? Is it deception? It is, I, I know, I know, and yet still I fold tobacco clothes and I pose beside smoke as I choke and I toke and I broke, I mean break my composure, engage in overexposure wearing these blood colored eyes reading, this is a full disclosure. But Mary, Mary balances boulders, breaks brain boundaries, and massages shoulders as earth shakes and shatters with shit-talking government soldiers who pose next to murderers in suits, diluting the truth, trading our tragedies for power-peddling polling booths, completely obtuse, corrupt, and obtrusive, policing our youth while already grasping a noose, and because of these unfortunate truths, I make the choice to choose. If we cannot be physically free as we ache against concrete, then allow me a calm heartbeat a piece of the sweetest leaf, a temporary release of fleeting inner peace. Al allow me to elevate so that I can de-escalate, so that as I deflate, brutal reality may briefly escape. Thank you. I, I think I'm just gonna do that one for now. No, I'll save it for next time. Come right. see me when you're here next time.